now our topic today is about Allah hands <clears throat> now I choose this picture like there is some I found some pictures in uh, in the internet for uh, some uh, gods who have hands many hands but this is not really the topic the topic is about Allah have two hands in the right of his shoulder you know the Muslims they are trying their best to avoid what is in their religion if you notice uh, a Muslim uh, Abdul a kid who debated uh, the video he made a video lately and we made a the comment about it he said well, you know he said that Allah has parts <laughs> Allah is not divided and we are not saying, saying that your God is divided but yes he have parts and actually his parts are funny there is tons of videos in YouTube explain Allah hands and Allah foot and Allah shin and by the way in case you do not know I advise you to download them because the Muslims are flagging those videos which made by Muslims in order to uh, uh, to to hide what those uh, what, what this teaching bring as humiliation to Muslims so they are flagging videos Muslims flagging videos of Muslims speaking about Allah having hands and uh, you know like lately I was trying to watch a video of uh, the guy his name Sheikh Faiz and I found the Muslims are flagging his video and they say it's offensive but the guy is just saying nothing except what he learned about his God why the Muslim don't flag al-Bukhari hey Muslims I want you to flag Sahih al-Bukhari why you don't flag Sahih Muslim what about we flag the Quran time will come and the Muslim will flag everything around them Muslims are the same as a bird the ostrich when danger come they put their head in their, their head in the sand and they say we don't see we don't know they think that it's not there so my friend you cannot hide it the Quran say Allah have hands the hadith says Allah have two hands and they are in the right side and this is the one is talking is your prophet so what about we flag Muhammad too shall we flag Muhammad hey Muhammad you are offending the Muslims Prophet Muhammad you are offending the Muslims shame on you obviously Muhammad is not a Muslim you will come uh, mr. Uh, Kaleen I'm not sure if I'm saying your name correctly as a Muslim you are welcome. we welcome Muslims here and by the way we don't hate Muslims and we don't appreciate anyone to teach hate against Muslims we love you my friend and we wish you a very happy new year uh, the year of the Lord the year of Christ may the Lord bless your family and yourself uh, but remember uh, to, re to receive the blessing of the Lord you have to accept him you have to invite him to your house the blessing of the Lord will come to our house if we invite the Lord to come to our house so I am I invite you as a Muslim to invite the Lord the Messiah to your house and I am no one to speak to you about the Messiah the Messiah speak of himself read the Bible read the amazing wisdom of Jesus and compare between the silly teaching of Muhammad and the silly teaching of a hadith and the silly teaching of Allah and then read what Jesus said and you will be amazed